and we are live and looks like we've got quite a bit of light right here on the screen but we're just going to have to go with it you've heard about the grove collaborative and you've probably wondered what you should order and when you take a look at their website it can be a little overwhelming so in this video i'm going to share with you some of the products that i purchased from the grove collaborative let you know what i think about them and offer some suggestions on what you might consider ordering yourself if we're just meeting i'm denise jordan and i teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions so if you want to learn more about running a household subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And for the purposes of the replay, if you're just jumping on, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. And if you're here live, then hey, how you doing? I think I need to do something with this light. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can dim it just a little bit. I think that's a little better. Sorry about that. I think that's a little bit better. So we've got Trisha from The Life I'm Trying to Love joining me today. Hey, Trisha, it's always good to see you. There was someone else out there, too, that said hello, and I didn't get a chance to speak to them. But as I was saying earlier, I'm going to kind of just jump in and share with you guys some of the things that I've ordered from the Grove Collaborative. And to tell you the truth, I absolutely love the Grove Collaborative. I first started ordering from the Grove Collaborative about three years ago, and I had been watching a video of um, At Home with Nikki. And she had so many products by the Grove Collaborative and so many by Mrs. Meyer. So, of course, I had to order some too. And one of the things I remember that she had was this. She had this little cleaning caddy. And oh my goodness, I just had to have one. And I tried to order one and they were out. And they were out forever, but they finally did get them in. So Trisha, if you're interested in trying them, I do have a little link below that if you want to try them, you can get like a five piece gift set or something like that with a $20 order if you're interested in trying them. But let me just kind of share with you some of the things that I purchased and then we can talk about how well I like the product and that kind of thing. So, and, oh, and I also said I'd do an unboxing and there's Sylvia from Silly Mommy. So, hey, Sylvia. So let me do the unboxing first. So I just got this in and they really packed their boxes very well. They packed them so that nothing gets damaged in shipping. And so one of the things that I've got in here are these and these are the set, the coconut scouring pads and I really like them. You know, Sylvia, it's really not all that full, but they packed it so well so that they don't get damaged in shipping. So these coconut scouring pads, they come in a set of two and I really like them when I'm cleaning the kitchen, if I have to scour a pan or something like that. Create with well, Cindy has also joined us. So, hey, Cindy, it's good to see you as well. Now, one of the other things that I order frequently is this. <clears throat> and it is the Methods Daily Shower um, Spray. And what you do is you just spray it in the shower once people are out. And I get it from my husband's bathroom. This particular flavor is the eucalyptus mint. And Sandra Jacobon is on. I think that's my friend from Alaska, if I'm not correct. So, hey, Sandra. So this daily shower spray is really very nice because you just get out of the shower and then you just spray the walls down and that takes care of it. So it just kind of cleans itself. So this is one of the things that I got in this box and then I also ordered another set of walnut and cellulose scrubber sponges so two comes in this pack and in case you guys um, don't remember I did a video a few weeks back about how often you should change your kitchen sponges and it's a lot more often than people think so I try to make sure I order some new kitchen sponges in each one of my orders if you missed that video I'll link it below because Y'all shouldn't be washing dishes with nasty sponges. So I'll link that video below so you can check that out. 
And then something else that I almost always order is this, and it is the Method Hand Soap. And this particular one is the Lime and Sea Salt. And I order this for the kitchen and then also for my husband's bathroom. So Trisha, you say you don't like sponges. Well, that's fine then, you're good to go. But if you do like sponges, then you need to tra switch them out often. The other thing that I ordered in here was the Mrs. Meyers Lavender Toilet Bowl Cleaner. I was out, so I had to order some. Um, Cindy says she puts hers in the dishwasher a couple of times. Yes, Cindy, that's helpful, but it doesn't do a complete job. So you should be switching out those kitchen sponges no less than once every two weeks. If you missed my video, check it out. And then the last thing, this is just paper. So the last thing that's in there is the um, gel dish soap. And this is the Grove Collaborative Gel Dish Soap. And it is in the scent Lavender and Thyme. And I tell you what, I like this fragrance. It smells so good. And I love it. And as a matter of fact, I've got some right up there on the counter in my um, bottle that's up there. So those are the goodies that I got today. So let's get them out of the way. So those are the things that I've ordered today. And then, so now let's take a look at some of the other products that I've got and I'll tell you how I like them or don't like them. And I guess since I mentioned this Method Daily Shower Cleaner, I should say that I absolutely love it. My husband uses it in his shower. He just sprays it, the walls down once he gets out and it really is pretty much self-cleaning. And the other important thing is that he actually uses it. So this is really good and it has a nice fresh scent. So I wholeheartedly recommend the Method Daily Shower Spray. And then the Mrs. Meyers Lavender Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Since I ordered it again for like the third or the fourth time, it is obvious that I like it. It does a really good job cleaning the toilet bowl. It doesn't have a uh, bleachy or metallic smell to it. Now, I will say I do use Clorox Toilet Bowl Cleaner like every Monday when I'm doing my weekly home blessing. But then throughout the rest of the week, I will use the Mrs. Meyers Lavender Scent because I love the lavender scent and I use it quite a bit in the bathroom. So there's that. And so I really enjoy that. And then um, the other thing that I have here that I wanted to share with you that I absolutely love is this Method dish soap. And this particular one is the lime and sea salt. And as you know, I also like to get the hand soap that goes with it because I like the companion bottles to be sitting on the counter together. So if I'm washing my dishes or washing my hands at the sink, I like for both of them to be the same. And I also like this color because as you can see by looking behind me, my kitchen walls are green and this is perfect up on my kitchen counter. So I like to have that. Now, something that I've ordered recently is this, and it is the floor cleaner. It is the Aunt Fanny's floor cleaner. It is a vinegar wash concentrate. And one of the reasons why I wanted to order it was because my husband kept using up my mint multi-purpose cleaner to mop the floor. Now, granted, it is a multi-purpose cleaner, but I kind of like using it in the kitchen. So I ordered him this Aunt Fanny's floor cleaner and it's a concentrate and it also is in a lavender scent. And it smells like lavender and vinegar. So I won't say it's the most appealing fragrance when you just sniff it from the bottle, but when you get it on the floor, it smells pretty good. And as you can see here, he's been using it. Thank goodness. So there's that one. I really do like that one. Now, something else that I really, really love from the Grove Collaborative is the Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Cleaner. Now, this particular one is um, the mint fragrance. And Biddy Boo Brown, Dana's out there. So, hey, Dana. So now, Trisha was asking, are these scents available all year round? The mint fragrance is sometimes seasonal. You tend to get this one more closer to Christmas time. And then this one, 
The lilac is one of the newer ones for uh, spring. So this one is typically available in spring and summer, but it may disappear close to Christmas because they bring out new scents. One of the things that I really like about the Myers collection is the seasonal scents. And this is one of the ones that you get at Christmas time. And I really like it. It is the peppermint scent. And it really smells good. Oh, and you can kind of see this right here. This is how it comes from the grove. So they will put tape across it like that so that it can't come open and spill in packaging. This is one of their old ones, but now they switched over to their own individual kind of like scotch tape brand. So the peppermint is definitely seasonal. The lilac is seasonal. The mint as well is somewhat seasonal. So Dana said she started ordering from Grove Collaborative last month and she's liking it. I hope you ordered from one of the links that I have, Dana. I just have a uh, like one of those friend and family links. I'm not an affiliate of Grove Collaborative. I'm trying to get there, but I'm not there yet. Now, Sandra, if you don't like lavender, that's OK. If you like mint, this is amazing. And then whereas I like to buy um, the basil the multi-purpose scent in basil, but they also have lemon. Oh, great, Dana. Thank you. But they also have lemon verbena and a number of other fragrances. So if you don't like lavender, they've got you covered. Trust me, they've got plenty of different scents for you to choose from. Now, something else that I really like from the Grove Collaborative is the Mrs. Myers um, glass cleaner. And so this is their lemon verbena scent. And see, each... Um, label each scent has a different color label so this is their lemon verbena and it works really well i just spray it like that on the glass wipe it off with a paper towel or a microfiber towel there's no streaks it has a nice fresh scent and it's wonderful and it lasts a long time i probably have had this bottle over a year so I don't have the furniture polish. I have not tried that. I know they do have a wood cleaner, but I tell you what, Tricia, as funny as it may seem, I do try to save money here and there. Now my husband's not gonna believe that, but I do try to save money here and there. And I already have three different kinds of wood cleaners in the cabinet before I started buying from the Grove Collaborative. So I have not purchased a wood cleaner from them just yet, but I do like this glass cleaner. So Dana says she use it, uses it with newspapers to clean windows. Yes, newspapers are great to clean windows if you've got a good glass cleaner as well. So, okay, so that's cool there. And then, um, let's see, I already mentioned the shower spray. Now, something else that I get from them is the Mrs. Meyers Vinegar Gel. And you put it on, it's a no rinse cleaner and I really like it. I use it quite a bit to clean the stove. And I tell you, one of my subscribers asked about, well, which of the Mrs. Myers products do you like? Which ones do you buy? So that's why I'm doing this live stream today so that people can see the kind of things that I've purchased and what I think about them. So I like this one when I'm cleaning the stove. If the stove is not real dirty, but there's just a little bit of grease or grub that's on the top, then I'll get this out and I'll use it. And it works really well too. If there is some grit that's on there, then I will use these walnut scrubbing sponges. Let's see, there you go. The walnut scrubbing sponges. And these are by the Grove as well. Now they come a set of three. They come in a three pack. <laughs> One of the ladies was saying that she uses her junk mail to as like a cleaner in the place of newspaper. But I really like these walnut um, scouring pads. Um, I used to like the um, scotch yellow or the scotch green pads. And these are very similar to that. They give me a good scrub, a good scouring, especially on my cooktop, but it doesn't scratch. So I highly recommend these as well. So I use them with my vegan cooktop cleaner or if I'm trying to clean the bottom of a pot and there's just a little bit of something I need to scrub off, this will do the trick. 
So now I use these. Now the other scouring pads that I have though are these coconut scouring pads and they're just a little bit more, I don't know, grainy. You can kind of see they're a lot more fibrous than that. Yeah, so um, this is something that I also enjoy using as well. They give me a good scarring. If I need to really scrub it something, these will do it. So consider these coconut scarring pad, and they come in a set of two. So these are some things that I really like quite a bit. And let's see. And then the other things that I also enjoy with cleaning is their microfiber they're all-purpose microfiber cleaning cloth. And this is their signature color, this kind of a um, powder blue or teal blue or whatever. But uh, the all-purpose cloths, they're pretty good and they come in a pack of two. And if you buy one of their essential cleaning kits, their clean minute essential cleaning kits, you will get a pack of the um, microfiber cloths in that pack. And then something else that I bought that I really like is their cleaning essentials kit. And this is their orange and rosemary one, but you, when you use it, it comes like in three different ones in a box like this. This particular one is the glass cleaner but then you empty it into a bottle like this and add 16 ounces of water and then you just spray it on whatever you're going to do. This kit has the um, glass cleaner. It also has the tub and tile cleaner as well as an all-purpose cleaner in it. And so far, I've only used the glass cleaner out of, I mean the tub and tile cleaner. And Yutra, uh, Kroneshnios has just joined us. So hello, it's good to see you. Welcome. I'm sharing with the group some of the Grove Collaborative products that I like. And this is the one that I used in the um, one minute clean that I did when I cleaned up the, the bathtub. And it works really, really well. So I really like that. So that's something that I think you might enjoy using. Let's see, I already mentioned those. Now, if you're someone that likes to buy multi-purpose wipes, then here are some seventh generation multi-purpose wipes. And I bought them from the Grove and they're in the scent Garden Mint. And they smell really good. So Dana says she cuts the sponges in half because they fit in her hand pretty good and then throws it away and uses the other half the next week so that they last a while. That is a great idea, Dana. And I tell you the truth, with, um, the, with these, with these, what I will do, I will actually cut it into thirds so that I've got three pieces to use because one is just entirely too big for any kind of cleaning product that I've got any project that I need. So I would clean it, cut it into thirds and then just use a piece at a time. So that's why, why there's only two in here because I've cut one in, into thirds and I've been using it little by little. And then I could see cutting the sponges in half could work out well too. Yeah, that could work out well too, but I tend to use a sponge hole like this and it's been working out just fine. And then again, here are your seventh generation wipes. So there are people that I see on YouTube and when they're cleaning their bathroom, they like to use individual wipes like this when they're cleaning the toilet or wiping down the sink or whatever, they'll use one of these to wipe it down. So, and like I said, it smells really nice. Grove doesn't make shipping to PR. I'm not sure what PR is. So where is that? I'm not sure where you are. But yeah, they might just ship in the States. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, oh, Puerto Rico. Duh. Sorry. I should have figured that out. Oh, I'm sorry that they don't ship to there. Yeah, you guys are really on the short end of the stick. And they've got some great products. 
Now here are some cleaning gloves that I ordered from the Glove, and they've got them in gray, and I think the other color is yellow, but I really like them. They go on very easily. I put them on, I feel like I'm getting ready to scrub in or something like that. But they grow on pretty easily. One size fits all. And when I'm cleaning or whatever I'm using, you know, like you can get your hand down in the water or whatever, and they're nice and long, so I don't have to worry about, you know, my whatever I'm wearing getting wet or anything like that. And they're heavy duty. So I really like these gloves. And I've had them for a while. And then what I will do once I'm done working with them that day, then I'll just like wash my hands. Like I'll just put some soap and that kind of thing on my hands while the gloves are on my hands and just kind of wash the gloves that way so that I'm not putting them away and they're dirty. So there's that. Now, one of the things that when I first got started with Mrs. Meyer, I was lucky enough that when I, well, when I first got started with the Grove Collaborative, I was lucky enough that they were offering a Mrs. Meyer's gift set when I joined with them. And typically what they will send you in the gift set will be a multi-purpose cleaner, and then usually you will get um, some dish soap, and then some hand soap will come along with that. So you'll usually get dish soap, hand soap, multi-purpose cleaner. And, um, and then you can kind of go from there to kind of explore what are some of the other products that you like. So as you can see here, when I ordered the mint collection, I ordered the mint multi-purpose cleaner, I ordered the mint dish soap, and then the mint hand soap has been used up. And let's see. Told you about those. Oh, one of their newer scents for spring is their rainwater. And I ordered this for my husband. And it is the, um, it has like a nice fresh smell. You know, he doesn't complain about whatever I buy, but sometimes I try not to get things that are too floor, you know, too flowery or too girly. So I ordered him the rainwater hand soap and then the rainwater hand lotion because he's always looking for hand lotion. Well, funny story, I'll have them sitting in his bathroom like side by side and I put the, the gel for the hand washing in front and every now and then he's not paying attention and he'll grab the hand lotion to start washing his hands with it. Then he's like, oh, so then he has to kind of uh, go back to square one. And I said, honey, it says right there on the bottle, hand lotion, hand soap. He's like, well, heck, I'm not paying that much attention. It's right there on the counter, right there on the sink. I just grabbed the first thing. So I said, how can I help you, dear? So we decided that we're just going to leave the hand soap in his bathroom on the counter right next to the sink. And the hand lotion I will leave either in his studio on the table or in our bedroom on the nightstand so that they're separated so he can tell which is which. Can my husband read? Sometimes I wonder. For the most part, yes, but anyway, there's that. And now something else that I thought you might want to see and this is one of their newer products, is this. Alaska? They don't ship to Alaska? Wow. You know, it could be because they're afraid things will get destroyed in shipping. I have to tell you guys, I sent something to Moomdas in New Delhi, India. And by the time she got it, it took almost a month to get there. And by the time she got it, it was in four pieces and it was meant to be in one piece. So maybe that's why they don't ship uh, to places that are so far. that are not like the contiguous states. I don't know. But it seems like Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. and Alaska certainly is part of the U.S. So I don't see why they shouldn't send it to both of those. OK, so now one of the things that I've just started to explore with Grove is their laundry supplies. You guys know how I love laundry, go figure, but I love doing laundry. 
And so now they've got this ultra concentrated laundry detergent that the Grove is making. So it's their own brand. And it's like natural lavender and rosemary is the fragrance and it's supposed to do 33 loads. Now here's the thing. It's supposed to be like one hand laundry dis dispensing now. So they've got this little kit and I ordered the kit. It comes like this. So here's this new little thing that you use to dispense laundry. Hey, Cal, it's good to see you. So, and this is from the Grove and I really like the look of it. Let's see if I can get it over there for you to see. So you can see the writing on it. And you take it off, the lid comes off like this. And then you dispense the detergent here in this bottle. And there's something else you have to do, and I'm not sure just what, just yet, because I've kind of forgotten. But then when you get ready to do laundry, you just tip it out like so, and it dispenses a single dose of detergent, which I think would be perfect for me because my husband always uses way too much detergent. He just pours it in, fills the cold cup up, doesn't matter how much laundry he's got. So I'm looking forward to trying this. And I think this little dispenser is just so sweet. I mean, look at that. Kind of a gray, you know, like dark, not gray, but um, frosted glass here and then white here. And then the handle is like kind of a gray and white. So I'm looking forward to using this. And then the laundry detergent is in the lavender and um, rosemary fragrance. So I'm looking forward to using that. And I love the smell of them. So when I think about the Grove Collaborative or the Mrs. Myers products, one of the things that I always think about is how great they smell. They smell really, really good. Now let's make sure I've shared all of the products with you that I wanted to. I think I did. So now let me share this with you. So let's say now you want to get started with a Grove Collaborative and you're not sure what to buy. So Trisha, you say you want to start, but you're not sure what to buy. Well, this is the thing. Many times when they're getting like for a new person throughout the year, they will run promotions where they will be giving a five piece cleaning set for newbies. And then you have to place a $20 order to get the um the, to get the five piece gift now once you get the five piece gift you are encouraged to either sign up for either the monthly plan which is like their vip plan or you can do the one they call the intermittent plan where you just kind of order whenever you need to you're not required to do either one you can either order intermittently or you can uh, order monthly but you'll be on one of those two programs and I did do a video that explained all about how you order from the Grove Collaborative and what are their different programs. So I will link that below too, just so you can have access to that. But let's say they've got a, a promotional going right now. And typically if they do, what will be in the uh, promotion will be, let's say a multi-purpose cleaner by Mrs. Myers. And then you will also have, you know, usually the dish soap and then some kind of uh, hand soap. There's almost always these three. And then many times they'll also include the uh, sponges. And then sometimes it's in the caddy. So let's say this is the kit. So let's say in the kit, you're going to get the multi-purpose cleaner, the dish soap, the hand soap, and then the sponges plus the caddy. Well, that's a pretty darn uh, good gift to start out with. And this is probably worth about $45 altogether, somewhere in there. So that's a good starter kit. So if you get something like that, then I would suggest that if you've got all of those pieces, Uh, in the VIP program, they do send you something free each month if you order something every month. 
But yes, and you have to remember to get your VIP gift because sometimes I forget to click on it to claim it. But okay, so let's say this is the gift that you're getting. Now, no, no. Okay, so Trisha, let's just say there's a promotional. This might be the promotional, but it, it's not always that way. They don't offer these caddies in their promotionals very often. Probably about three times a year, they offer the caddy because everybody wants one. Everybody just about that I've seen with the YouTube channel has one of these cleaning caddies. So it was like when I saw Nikki had one, I had to get me one. So most YouTube creators, especially those that do cleaning, have one of those caddies. But these caddies are $14.95. So they are not always in your gift set. But what is always in the gift set typically will be a Mrs. Myers multi-purpose cleaner, a dish soap, a hand soap, and typically the sponges and maybe the microfiber towels. You know, maybe maybe these are the five pieces. So that's yeah, so, so maybe those are the five pieces. So if you've got those five pieces in your gift set, if they come in your gift set, because the gift sets do change from time to time, then I would suggest you consider trying the laundry products. So now Dana says she has the caddy, but she doesn't like it because it's not big enough. Well, Dana, I have this caddy. And then when they had the pomegranate set out at Christmas time, I ordered that and I ordered that caddy. And I'm kind of funny. I like things plain. So I didn't like the fact that it had those pomegranates on that. So one of my sisters had just moved into an apartment. So I gave her that whole set. I gave her the caddy. I gave her the dish soap and all of that that came with it. And she loves it. But you're right. It's not very large. I keep this one in my downstairs bathroom. And what I keep in it is my glass cleaner, my multi-purpose cleaner, and then I will put my toilet bowl cleaner in it. And then I have some, um, like my cleaning cloths. So that's all that I keep in this caddy and I keep it in my downstairs bathroom so that when I'm cleaning that bathroom, all the things I need are right in this caddy. Other people use the caddy to organize different things in their home, not necessarily for their cleaning products. I have a caddy like this that I picked up at Target. Must have been about maybe somewhere between six and ten dollars. I'm not sure, but that's what I keep my cleaning products in for my upstairs because I've got two bathrooms upstairs and then other things that I'm cleaning, and so I can put quite a few things in that. So you're right, Dana, that caddy is somewhat small when you think about all the different things that you might need. But for where I keep it, it's fine. So you said it's not big enough for your shower cleaner and stuff. Now for the shower cleaner, what I would consider doing, first of all, could be your method daily shower cleaner. And actually, this is probably going to sit in your bathroom. You're probably going to leave it sitting in your shower. So it's not going to be in your caddy. So I'm thinking the only other thing that's going to be in your caddy might be your microfiber sponges. It could be a spray bottle with some tub and tile cleaner in there because you might need something that's a little bit more heavy duty. Um, your You might want to have a sponge in there. Maybe these cleaners and paper towels, of course. And then if you're one of those people that like to use these kinds of, of towels in there, there's that. So Dana, tell me, what are you having in your bathroom and shower that that's not enough for? Because I want just enough in there for what I'm using on a day-to-day -day basis. My overflow or extra stuff, I put in the pantry because I don't want to be dragging all that stuff around. But anyway, so I think I'm, I almost lost my point. So here's the thing. If you're just getting started and you've got that kit with all those Mrs. Myers goodies in it, then I would consider either trying their um, toilet bowl cleaner because that's not going to be in the kit. And you need a toilet bowl cleaner for, to clean your bathroom. And you also need 
some laundry detergent. So I would consider buying the toilet bowl cleaner and the um, maybe the laundry set. And this laundry set's about $20. So if you buy the laundry set, that gets you your $20 initial purchase price. Okay. So I would consider that if those other things come with it. So, cause you must have toilet bowl cleaner and everybody's gotta do laundry. So, you know, I would consider trying that laundry starter set. And certainly make sure you've got plenty of So make sure you've got plenty of those. Um, and I've got other Mrs. Myers products. I didn't drag out everything here to show you, but I thought I would share with you some of the things that I like best. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention though is, is I do really like their seasonal scents. And this one is one of their pricier products. And this is El Caldrea Juniper Scent. This is the dish soap. And like I said, it's a little bit pricier than their other things. And why did I buy it? Well, I was watching, I think it was Love Meg. She was cleaning her kitchen and she had it. So I thought, hmm, let me try it. This is the hand soap. And then this is the hand lotion. Like I said, I like to buy the whole set when I can. And um, cause I like to have them sitting side by side on the counter for the most part. All right, so now what questions do you guys have about the Mrs. Myers products? Are there any that I didn't show you that you think you should have? And uh, when you buy their cleaning essentials kits, one of them, they even have one for, it's either the bathroom or the refrigerator that has baking soda that comes with it. Cause of course you need that. And then for the bathroom cleaning essentials kit, in addition to the microfiber sponges and the um, tub and tile cleaner, or rather the microfiber towels and the tub and tile cleaner, you also get a uh, container of Bonami, you know, like a little scouring powder, just like that. So what questions do you guys have about um, the Mrs. Myers stuff? I think I've got everything up here for the most part. I've got lots of stuff that's up in the closet. So lately, the last couple of times when it's been time to place an order, I've just passed. I just would move my order date from, say, April to May or, you know, so like in May now, I won't need any new products. So I won't accept an order in May. I'll move that to June or July. The only thing is when you do that, if there's any seasonal products out, any seasonal fragrances, then you might miss those. Or if there's a particular VIP gift for that month, then you just miss that gift. But, you know, that's OK. So. Do they have dishwasher cleaners? Yes. Oh gosh, excuse me for snorting. When you say dishwasher cleaners, do you mean dishwasher pods to wash your dishes? Because yes, they do. They do have a Mrs. Meyers um, dishwasher product. And I ordered it once, but I wasn't real pleased with it. I tend to use, um, um, I think it's called finish. I use finish uh, dishwasher pods that has like this kind of a platinum and um, stain release or um, stri stripe release that's in it. And I tend to like that. So I did try the Mrs. Myers dishwasher pods, but I didn't care for them. So I didn't reorder those. And I went back to ordering my finished dishwasher pods that I normally use. Other questions and then other things, I did order their paper towels and I don't think I have any of those left. And you know, you get used to certain products that you really like. And I like the VIP feels like cloth paper towels, not VIP, the um, um, Vista paper towels that feel like cloth. And um, so I tried the Grove Collaborative um, paper towels and they tended to feel like most other paper towels and I didn't care much for them. Now my husband liked them, but I didn't care much for them. So I went back to the Vista paper towels that I normally get. So there's that. And I also didn't like the toilet paper. And um, 
And I think, like I said, you just get used to certain brands or the textures that you're used to. And so there's that. Have any of you guys tried a product that you didn't particularly care for? Because most of the products that I've received from them, I do like. As you can see, and like I said, I've got stuff sitting all around me, but I've got stuff upstairs in the pantry where I keep these things for my overflow that I didn't bring down. So I'm trying to cut back on ordering so much. And then um, the other thing is like if it's seasonal. So, so for example, I got this for Christmas time. And then when the new Christmas scents came out, like the peppermint came out, well, then I switched over to the peppermint. So I put that juniper scent away. So I've got like lots of things. So I'm trying to use up some of this stuff too, because really you can collect cleaning products and overly collect them. This, just like you can overly collect other things. Other questions from you guys? I was trying to see if there was anything else down here that I needed to say. So again, what should you buy if you're just getting started and they don't have a gift set? Well, I think you can always get a gift set. You can always get a gift set, particularly if you use a little link that I've got below, but it may not necessarily be as inclusive as the one that I showed earlier. So I suggest you always want to buy a multi-purpose cleaner and you can either use um, the method multi-purpose cleaner, which I've got this in the uh, lime and sea salt. So not only do I have the dishwashing, dishwashing liquid, the hand soap, I also have the multi-purpose cleaner in the method. And I just missed that comment. So if you could maybe write that again, I looked away and when I looked back, it was like disappearing off the screen. So um, if you could put that one back up, I'm thinking that was a person either in, I think in Puerto Rico, because it wasn't Sandra. But, um, so Trisha mainly wants to get kitchen and bathroom cleaners. So then if you're gonna do kitchen and bathroom cleaners, then again, Multi-purpose cleaner you can use in the kitchen or in the bathroom. So when I'm doing the Fly Lady cleaning process, what they suggest is that you use a multi-purpose cleaner. And when you're in the bathroom, they don't suggest buying a toilet bowl cleaner. They suggest using a multi-purpose cleaner or dish soap, something you already have because you're using it every day. So you're cleaning that bathroom every day. So it's not getting like really, really grungy, you know, like a public toilet that's out in the woods and nobody ever cleans it. So you don't have to buy a toilet bowl cleaner. You could just use a multi-purpose cleaner, put in a couple sprays and then swish and swipe it with your toilet brush. Or you could use dish soap in that toilet bowl, but you've got to be cleaning that toilet bowl every day. And actually your toilet bowl is a lot cleaner than you think. Yetra, it is so nice to have you join us today. I'm so glad that you did. And she said it was like chatting with friends. And you know what? I appreciate that. That's what I want my live chats to be like. I, w I did want to share some information uh, about some of the different products, but I did want it to be chatty. So thank you. That is such a nice compliment. Now, uh, Trisha, I think it was, that said she likes to leave the toilet bowl cleaner in overnight. And, you know, I get that. So again, if you're using dish soap, multi-purpose cleaner, whatever you're putting in there, leave it in overnight, that'll be fine. The biggest problem people get in with the mold, like you get that little dark ring growing or up and around in your toilet, is when they start putting food in the toilet, when they're disposing of food in the toilet rather than in the garbage disposal or in the, or in the garbage can. That can be a problem. But if you're cleaning your toilet bowl every week, I mean, every day, which, you know, when I'm doing my swish and swipe, I'm on my Mrs. Myers routine. I'm doing the swish and swipe every day. So if I just want to use dish soap or multi-purpose cleaner, I'm good. But I'm old school. So every Monday when I do my weekly home blessing, I got to use some Clorox toilet bowl cleaner in the toilet. I just have to. But the rest of the week, it can be something that's, you know, pretty good and pretty gentle on the environment. 
like the Mrs. Myers products or the Method products. And I think that's another reason why I'm really liking the Grove Collaborative is because their products are environmentally friendly. Now, some people don't care for the products. I get that. Everything is not for everybody. And I've already shared with you the products they have that I didn't care for. But for the most part, I like what they do. I like what they represent, not only environmentally friendly products, but socially conscious products. Because one of the things that I've learned recently, I went to a sorority regional and we talked about human trafficking. And one of the things that I thought of was that the majority of human trafficking, of course, was sex trafficking and turned out it is not. Forced labor is one of the biggest human trafficking issues, meaning slave labor still in 2019, that it is still happening. And so when we say socially conscious, that's what we mean. So that's why I like the Grow Collaborative product. And so I would wholeheartedly encourage you to give it a try. So Trisha, if you want to give it a try, sign up for it, but you don't have to sign up for the monthly VIP program. I know one of my sisters signed up for it and she didn't do the monthly VIP program. She did the intermittent program because she's on a fixed income and she didn't feel she could afford to do it every month. The nice thing about being in the VIP program is that uh, shipping is free. But free shipping is not a priority if your income is limited. So, and I'm not trying to push that. I just wanted to share with you guys what I thought because one of my subscribers did say, well, what products do you like? What do you recommend? So that's why I was saying if you don't, if you're just getting started and you don't have, you know, many cleaning products, then um, what you want to do is start with some laundry products, start with a multi-purpose cleaner. And then again, like I said, you could start with this kit, but if this kit like I said, it's about $20 for this and this. Well, then don't buy the kit. Just buy the laundry detergent. Buy the toilet bowl cleaner. And um, a multi-purpose cleaner that you can use for several different things. And then, of course, you got to get your multi-fiber cloths, your sponges, and your scouring pads. And then everything else is gravy. And again, this vinegar gel is very good because you can use it for so many things. So what you want to do is think about how do you clean? What do you like to clean with? And what's your budget and go from there. Okay, any other questions? I think I'm, uh, I think I pretty much covered everything. I'm going to do another video where I'm going to do my top 10 Grove Collaborative products, but I almost did it today. And then I got to thinking about what Sean always says. He says two keywords, two videos. So one keyword was what to buy. Second keyword was my favorites. I'm like, oh, that's two keywords. So today you're just getting what to buy. I'll do my favorites another day. I don't know, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm just so behind on things. So if you guys don't have any other questions, I don't want to just bore you guys just hanging out here because there was a purpose for this live chat. So, but I appreciate you guys jumping on with me. I really do. I've been working on tablescapes today. I had to do my um, lemon coffee bar, which you can see a little bit of that back there. So uh, that video drops tomorrow. And then I thought, well, I got lemon on the brain. I might as well get the lemon tablescape done. So I did that earlier and I had like the kitchen all clean and the table all ready. So I got that video shot. Now I haven't edited the, the film yet, but I've got it done. So then I thought, okay, you guys need to go ahead and get that Mrs. Meyer's favorite side of the way. So how am I getting so much stuff done? Well, the hubby's not home right now, so it's quiet. So you don't hear the TV in the background. You don't hear any music in the background. You don't hear footsteps coming up and down. So it's quiet because he stepped out for a little bit. So I thought, I'm going to get as much done as I can. So, hey, Dana, are you still on? How are the goats doing? I'm just wondering how the little babies are doing. I haven't looked on your channel to see you doing that. I saw you were doing a live stream the other day, but I think at the time you were doing it, I was in the middle of something. So 
I couldn't jump on right then. So, okay. Well, listen, guys, I, I thank you guys for um, joining me today. I hope you got some good, some, I hope I gave good information about these products. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And if you're joining me on the live stream, or rather, if you're joining me on the replay, thank you for jumping in. And I hope I wasn't too all over the place. Oh, so Trisha's one year stroke video is going. I'll look for it, Trisha. I will look for that. I'll be looking forward to seeing it. And then I guess I better get ready for our live stream tomorrow. Now that I'm back and I'm off vacation, I need to get ready for that. I feel like I've been away from you guys for so long. So I did leave a video that you guys were to look at on how to do thumbnails. And so we'll talk about that on Monday, but I better get things together. So if you guys know of any challenges that I'm not aware of, please send me an email so that I can get all that information together for tomorrow. So, OK, guys, um, if like I said, if you're new to my channel, I am Denise Jordan and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. And I love you too, Cal. I love all of my community members out there. We have a great community and I do appreciate that. And I don't take it for granted. So thank you guys for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow. 745 for our... Um, Shout out Sunday live stream. Bye.